everybody, Michelle Lupton here with my third card making video. My last one was a bit dim and um, I had some requests for a voiceover so I thought I'd fix that in this video. Now I'm starting with some watercolour cardstock from Canson and the idea behind this card was to use the colour scheme in this scarf that my friend Janet bought for me in Japan earlier this year. So I'll be using distress markers in Blueprint Sketch Mermaid Lagoon and Tumbled Glass and I'm going to be stamping and white embossing with this Hero Arts Basic Grey Highline Ironwork background. So here I'm applying the Versamark ink and making sure that I press it down on the smooth side of the cardstock because I want to get a good impression and making sure I rub all over to make sure that the Versamark ink gets into all those nooks and crannies of the watercolour cardstock. Then I'm adding some white Hero Arts embossing powder and I'll be heat setting that with my heat gun. Now this card I'm going to be using my heat gun so many times so I'm cutting most of them out of the video because it's really boring. So <laughs> here I'm just sort of finishing off and checking that I've um, heat set every bit and now I'm going to start colouring in. Now at the beginning of this, it's going to look like an absolute dog's breakfast. Um, I'm not taking any care to colour these in neatly. I'm just getting some colour in. It looks an absolute mess. But the magic is going to happen when I add the water. So I've got my Ranger uh, Mister here filled with water. I'm just squirting water all over it. Just heaps and heaps of water. And then I'm going to squirt from the side a bit to get some of that ink moving um, into different regions. Now I'm just using my old rag here um, to mop up some of the excess uh, ink and water before I heat set it. Uh, just because I wanted to start off with some paler, softer colours to start with and then add some more intense colours as I went. Didn't want to start off too intense. Now I've decided I'm going to add some more of that blueprint sketch. Seriously, my favourite colour in the world. Half of my wardrobe is this colour. I kid you not. Um, so I'm adding more of that to get more of that beautiful, deep royal blue happening. I'm going to squirt again with the water to get that moving a bit, get it blending and again with the heat gun and it's boring so I'm going to cut it out so I'm moving some of the ink around with my fingers here because I wanted it to go into areas that I hadn't actually coloured in but get pale now I'm using my Perfect Pearls Mist in Perfect Pearl shaking it up really really well to get all that um, pigment powder all mixed in and I'm just covering most of the front of this um, cardstock with this Perfect Pearls. You can't see it uh, now, but in real life it is just gorgeous, the shimmer that you get from the Perfect Pearls mists. And I'm actually going to add shimmer in a number of different ways to this card. This was just the first way that I added some shimmer. And yet again with the heat gun. Now I'm using here some Mr. Huey's Colour Mist in gold. Now, it, for some reason, I don't know why, I shook it up like anything, as you're going to see, and I just put some dots, sort of splattered some random dots over it. Now, I'm one of those very um, introverted people. I don't really like to put things all over the place, so I'm being really, really careful with this um, Colour Mist. So there's only really very few tiny little drops not huge big splatters all over the place but I'm fine with that but I don't know it didn't come out as gold as I thought it would it came out more sort of orangey yellow than I thought it was going to but hey that's what happens and I wanted to get some of the gold color in because there was sort of a browny orangey goldy color in that um, scarf that I was using for my inspiration anyhow I decided I wanted a strip of blue to sort of match the blueprint sketch along the side of my card. So here I am uh, adhering that. Please don't ask me what colour cardstock this is. It's just from my stash of offcuts. So I have no idea what colour it is. And now here's the second way I'm going, or well, third way actually, and I'm going to add some glimmer, is I'm using my Wink of Stella pen 
to just run over that blue strip. I use these Wink of Stella pens so often and I've done a trick that I got the idea for from Jennifer Maguire which is I've got one of my old ones, I yanked out the um, innards and added some water because there's heaps of glimmer left in the empty pen and if you add water you can still use it. So I've actually got two running at the moment. I've got a brand new one that has heaps of glimmer in it and one that's just got water which is a bit less glimmery. Anyway, here I'm using a Hero Arts Stamp and Cut Happy set, uh, die cutting the Happy die cut out of the same blue cardstock that I used as the border on the left hand side of the card. Now this I've decided to add some uh, Wink of Stella to as well, but as I've done that, and this die cut is quite um, sort of movable it sort of moves all over the place and when I got it wet it did so even more so so I decided to heat set that as well just to make it less um, flimsy and I'm going to make this a happy birthday card because I just that's the card I make most often I use happy birthday cards all the time so I just whenever I just want to make a card just because I want to make a card it tends to be a happy birthday card Anyway, um, for the birthday bit of the sentiment, I'm using the stamp from the set. I'm um, just using my uh, EK Success powder tool to prep the surface of this black cardstock so that I can white emboss. So just make sure that the white embossing powder doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick. It stays where I want it to be. Um, adding my powder here and I'm going to heat emboss that word. Now I never, ever stamp straight. I'm just terrible for doing that. So I've just stamped this and then I'm going to cut it down and make it straight when I cut it down. So I made sure I had plenty of room between the edge of the cardstock and where I've stamped the sentiment so that I could um, make it nice and straight. Alright, so now I'm just deciding where I want to position this sentiment and I'm going to cut that black um, strip down so that it has like a little banner, a little ribbon edge on one side and just um, flush up against the right hand side of the card. So I'm just using my little scissors. These scissors are from Stampin' Up. I love these scissors. I don't know what I did when I didn't have these scissors. They're just the best ever. So sharp. But I have to make sure that my nieces, I sometimes do card making with my nieces because I love doing it. But I tell them, you're not allowed to use these scissors because, <laughs> because they're my special scissors. Um, and also they've got a really, really sharp tip on the end, so I don't want them to stab themselves. Um, anyway, so I've added some of my tape runner. This tape runner, I don't know, I've never seen anybody else in Blogland using this brand. It's called Balloon Tape, B-A-L-U-N-E -B tape, but I love it. It's um, little, it's nice and small, handheld little tape runner. I use it when I don't need really, really sticky glue, like when I don't need the huge big ATG gum, which has glue that it's going to stick no matter what, or if I use um, liquid glue like I am right now. So right now I'm using the multi mat, multimedia mat from Ranger to stick that sentiment down and I'm also going to use the same adhesive to stick down these um, sequins. So I decided um, the gold splatters that I put on earlier weren't quite gold enough so I wanted to add some gold sequins along with some clear sequins and right now see that sequin? It flicked. I have no idea where it went. It's somewhere in this room <laughs> but I had to grab another one, so I don't know when I'm going to find the other one. I'm looking right now to find out where it is. I have no idea. Um, somewhere in the carpet, probably. Anyway, I've added some clear sequins, which from Simon Says Stamp, and some gold sequins, which are, I don't remember where they're from, I'm sorry, um, with my multimedia mat. Um, and that's pretty much the end of the card, except when I picked it up, I found what Julie Ebersole refers to as boogers, like adhesive boogers. You know when you get a bit of adhesive on the end, you haven't quite rubbed it off yet? That's what I'm doing right now, getting rid of the adhesive boogers. Thanks to Julie Ebersole. Anyway, thank you very much for bearing with me and thank you for listening to my voice for this whole um, video.